my name is Michael Hoyerson. Over the years, it has been my pride and joy to work with the esteemed band, Bobby B and the Barrel Boys. Sadly, some time ago, our lead singer, Bobby, died under mysterious circumstances, and the band fell apart and went their separate ways. We've all been doing our own thing these days. I, myself, have become a very successful WikiHow author. But for reasons various, uh, we need to get back together, and I've decided to bring us together to do a benefit concert, benefiting the state of Israel. Hi, I'm Skyler. I was in the band until Bobby ascended to an astral reality. Hi, my name's Tim, owner of Tim's McGuffin Emporium. It's been a pleasure for the last few years working with Bobby B and the Barrel Boys, but ever since we broke up a certain amount of time ago, and Bobby left for Texas, our group split up like a solar system without a star. So it was strange how I got wrapped up with Bobby B and his Barrel Boys, to be honest. I, I don't remember it very well, but there was just a sense of music among them that I really enjoyed. Like, they played strings, and I played strings. But then one day, Bobby disappeared. A uh, letter I got said that he was drafted by aliens to go defend the world of Turn Off 9, and things just weren't the same ever since. I mean, we formed a religion around this guy. I mean, the way he looked, the way he talked, the way his hips moved. I mean, they were they were feminine, but they were so masculine at the same time. I mean, he taught me so much, and then he just left. So it's been rough suburban surviving. It's really difficult to find food unless you're willing to dig in trash. Every now and then you find a grand old magazine. If you're ever ever in nature and need yourself an umbrella, a magazine and a pencil, especially the pencil is all you need. Just stab it through. We're here today to recruit our first band member, Ian, who's been living on these gritty urban gangsta streets. He's going to be our string instrument player, and it's time to recruit him for the benefit concert. Ian, we're getting the band back together. Cool. Glad for you. You're part of the band. But I, I don't need to be. Yeah, you do. I'm surviving right now. Who's going to play the stringed instruments? Pretty sure there's at least like two more of us that did that same thing. No, they, they were talentless. I'm. I'm surviving. Give me that. There. I have a second. Ian, what about for an onion? Anything for an onion. And Michael approached me, just asked if I wanted to join back with the band. I asked him who all was there, and it's nobody yet, but geez, I just broke in my survival pencil, so what else is there to lose? The easy part's over. Now, we have to talk to my old enemy, Tim, an eccentric sort. He was never all there, especially not after I... We're here to recruit Tim. He's been busy running whatever this is. Hey, come on, come on, come on in. Welcome to, welcome to Tim's uh, MacGuffin Emporium. I'm very, very pleased to have visitors at this time of the time. Hi. Hi. Do you remember oh, me? Oh, oh, oh. Hi. Hi. Michael, my yeah. old manager. Yeah. Now, go to there. And that must be J-Man. Yeah. J-Man, yeah. how's, how's, how's the fogging? Yeah, it's pretty good. Fogging out. Yeah. So, so please, can I show you some of what I have? I really like to show people what I have. Sure. Yeah. I mean, we ha we're here on other business, but... Let me show you what I have. Okay, here. We have... Dollar shoes. Portable dingle dongle. Bird. Egg. Get a cup. Large flame cards. 
Who knew an obvious? I'm boring you. I understand I'm boring. Uh, so we are here because we're putting on a benefit release concert and we want to get the boys back together. Okay, for concert. For what though? For the establishment of a new free state. And so I thought, a benefit concert for a new free state in Mecca? That sounds like me. My MacGuffins. You know what this could do for my business? We might be able to sell things for only 20% off. I've been practicing my ocarina. Mecca? Oh, actually, I didn't even think about that. I was gonna go this Jerusalem right? Good. Let's go. All right, let's okay. go. Uh, can I have this? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, well, When they said they were bringing the old band back together, I was enthused. I was more than enthused. I was tickled. Next is Skyler. I've never really known what to say about him. He's always been a bit of a gray area. Hey, Skyler. Uh, what's with the hole? Yep. <laughs> Skyler. Yeah, man. What is this? It's a hole. Why are you in the hole? I was trying to become a spud. A what? A spud, a potato. Like, you see, I went on this trip. I was walking through this forest, and I found myself in this wooded glade, and I looked down at my hands, and I was becoming something more. And then I went into the sky, and I saw in space this glowing, perfect being, potato. I reached out my hand, and I almost touched it. Then I was dragged back to reality. Now I'm trying to become a get, potato. Get back to becoming a potato. We're putting the band back together, and we need you. No, you don't. I mean, what am I supposed to do other than follow the great spot? I mean, I don't know. Skyler. I sold a VIP ticket to the Spud himself. The Spud? The Spud. You talking about the Spud? Yes. You talking about the one I saw? Yes. I'm in. It's been so long. The years have been so unkind. That it's going to take some time to reintroduce the band members to each other. Like a family of meerkats that have been kept separated. If anything goes wrong, they could tear each other to shreds. I don't know what I was thinking letting them into my home. There have been some ungodly sounds coming from in there, and I don't know what to do about it. But we've got to find out. back. We're rebranding under the new name Low Hanging Fruit and we're going to put on a benefit concert for helping starving kids, I think. Let me tell you, I'm so freaking excited to meet that spud at the concert. That's literally the only reason that I'm going. All right, we are here at the benefit concert reunion of Low Hanging Fruit. And you can see we got a whole bunch of happy people here. Yep, that's gonna work. Wait, that's no spud. I see no spud. Then I pause on bomb the tail. The French word for potato is patate, or more archaically, pomme de terre, which means apple of the earth. And thus is the pun complete. What just happened? <laughs> He 
Ай, меня.